for tuning in to CNA TV, the premier online artist showcase series. I am Tunde Afolayan Famous Jr., presenting Nigerian Contemporary Art Explored. Please stay tuned. We'll be back with more. To CNA TV. This introductory segment of our program explores the development of contemporary Nigerian art. In order to have a better understanding of the breadth and scope of the contemporary Nigerian art, I would like to present to you a brief cultural history of Nigeria. Nigeria, a former British colony, is well known for its largest population on the continent of Africa. Nigeria is situated on the Gulf of Guinea in West Africa. Its neighbors are Republic of Benin, Niger Republic, Republic of Cameroon, and Chad. The lower course of the Niger River flows south through the western part of the country into the Gulf of Guinea. Swamps and mangrove forests border the southern coast. This West African nation is well known for its rich artistic traditions dating back to more than 2,000 years. Profoundly rich artistic legacies such as the Nok culture, Ife, Benin, and Igbo Uku distinguish Nigeria as culturally enriched society. Nigerians, just like other Africans, began to see their traditional ways of life often branded as being primitive and inferior by their colonial masters. Traditional life started undergoing significant transformation in the 19th century. Christianity as a form of imagined religion influenced the decline of traditional worship and with it traditional art which was characterized as being fetish by the colonial authorities. Adaptation of Western education, Western-made industrial materials and commerce made Nigerians abandon their traditional crafts and the apprenticeship system for white-collar jobs, which provided waged labor. The irony here is the fact that the evolution of contemporary Nigerian art is deeply rooted in the country's colonial past. Contemporary Nigerian art emerged out of the need to neutralize the foreign influences on indigenous cultures. The early Nigerian artists, formerly trained abroad, were determined to confront the condescending perceptions of the Europeans, which suggested that African artists could not match their Western counterpart. These pioneer artists, such as Aina Onobolu, Akinola Lashekon, Ben Ewonwu, and Clara Ubudaga were instrumental in the introduction of art education in Nigerian schools. Another factor was the higher institutions established in the country from the 1950s. These were the Nigerian Arts and Craft College, which became the Fine Art Department at Amadu Bello University, Zaria. Yaba College of Technology in Lagos, Nigeria, and the Fine Art Department of the University of Nigeria, Nzuka. These institutions were the cornerstones of higher education in the visual arts. There are, has since been a growth in the number of universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education teaching art in Nigeria. Today, these various institutions continue to produce highly skilled and academically trained visual artists who constantly energize Nigerian contemporary art landscape. 